I was up YouTube. Um, a buddy of mine was telling me I needed to post this as a video. This is um, <laughs> how, I, how I charge uh, a couple batteries all at one time. Uh, in this case, it's three deep cycle marine batteries out of a, a boat. <clears throat> now, this is really simple. I think the way they call this is running these in, um, in parallel. But what you want to keep in mind is um, to be able to do this, you need three like batteries, which means they need to be relatively close in charge. Uh, they need to be relatively close in amperage and voltage. Uh, so meaning you can't take a 12 volt battery and try to run it and charge it with a 24 volt battery. Uh, people have told me that it just it doesn't work out right. One doesn't charge. Uh, I've heard horror stories of one burning up, melting down, uh, tearing the battery chargers up. Um, and uh, you've got to be very careful about not mixing up the wiring when you do this. It's really simple to do. The um, thing to do is take just a standard set of uh, jumper cables. This is because I'm not running vast distances. This is like a really cheap set that I bought at the local auto parts place. I cut them and then made my own spliced ends on it. I just bought an extra set of, of uh, the clamps, which most auto parts places sells right right beside the uh, the battery jumper cables um, and it's really simple to do but I'm gonna go ahead and get these wired together and then I'll come back explain what I did and then uh, uh, go over the batteries themselves just a little bit all right we're back now real simple all I did if you look this is like I said a made in Mexico <laughs> deep cycle battery positive negative terminal um, these are my short pieces like I said uh, from my jumper cables they're about I don't know 18 inches long I guess that would be in between there um, they're just long enough to have a little bit of slack go from battery to battery but you run from positive to positive as in that and then once again positive to positive from your second battery to your third battery same way with the negative sides you run negative negative and then negative negative on the batteries this runs them in parallel <clears throat> now what this does is this leaves the batteries at the stock Voltage meaning that it runs it's still running 12 volts on the system But increased amps so let me see if I can get my thing here to To show this is this may be a bit difficult to do one-handedly Thirteen point. Uh, whenever I get it to stay, thirteen point nine volts. As you can see, thirteen point nine volts, thirteen point ten, thirteen point eleven. What that does is it leaves it a stop voltage, so that you can put a regular car charger on it, like a trickle charger or a uh, uh, battery tender in my case, and. Um, it will read them as one single battery at 12, 13 volts and will charge the batteries uh, all at one time. If you run them from positive to negative, positive to negative, uh, it increases the amperage on it. No, it increases the voltage and leaves the amperage stock. Um, meaning you'll get you'll go from a 12 volt system to a 24 volt system but you'll maintain a 600 amp cranking system on it whereas the way i'm running it now you keep a 12 volt system but you double the amperage so i'm more of 
900 to 1,000 amps with uh, those two batteries running this way. It's essentially, technically, that's it's not exactly how that works, but essentially, that's what it's doing. And I bring it up that way because where a lot of people use this is um, and running boats, trolling motors, winch motors on trucks, running a 12 volt system because that's the way everything is. Most things are wired up. You don't end up having to, you don't have to worry about overcharging something and burning it up, but running it in parallel like this, it, it increases your run time, which is basically increasing the amperage output on it. That's, that's when it comes to car batteries, that's, that's how the, that's really the number that you're looking for is, is amperage hours and time on it. Um, the increased amperage gives you a longer run time on it versus if you do run it from positive to negative, you're not increasing amperage, you're increasing voltage, which in a 12 volt system running 24 volt battery setup on it will burn a lot of things up and it's not going to increase your run time. Uh, it may spin that electric motor and that trolling motor a lot faster, but it's not going to run any longer than running on just one 12 volt battery on a 12 volt system. Uh, running it with three batteries in it uh, doesn't exactly triple the run time either. You've got a diminishing returns uh, like with everything else. You don't exactly get double run time running two and you're not gonna get perfect triple run time out of running three batteries, but it will increase run time on it. Um, but that's how you you wire that up and then just hook the battery tender to it. So I'm going to go ahead and get that and uh, hook it up. And I'll show you everything hooked up and running in just one second. All right, guys. So this is what we've got. We've got positive to positive on this one. Second to third one. Positive to positive again. Here you go. Negative, negative. Negative, negative. And then hook your battery tender up. Fuse link always goes to your positive terminal. Your non-fuse link always goes to your negative terminal. And that will charge all three batteries at one time. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Like I said, running it like this, um, is I think this is what they call a, a, a parallel wiring. Uh, what that does is it increases the amperage without increasing the voltage which lets you run a regular car charger on these and um, the car charger will read it all as one big battery and uh, will do exactly what it's supposed to do just trickle charge keep the batteries charged versus if you run up say positive to, to that negative terminal then you've created a 24 volt system and the battery charger won't tend it as well because it's hard to run 24 volt. It's hard for it to charge running three batteries because then you didn't have to run this the same way and it ended up being a 36 volt system or some kind of crazy something or another. But it, it won't charge it that way from my understanding because of the amperage increase in it. Um, and it conflicts with some of the the battery tenders or some of the other battery chargers. That's not to say you probably can't do that. I just don't know of a charger that will do it. So this is how I do all of mine. Um, run them in phase like this, parallel wire them, or whatever it is you want to call it, and then uh, hook the charger to it, let it go. It'll do its thing. All right, any, more, any questions, like always, hit me up. Um, rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you.